Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are students from Vietnam, an alluring and friendly country. Today, it's our job to present to you a new effective way to improve online study quality using deep learning logarithm. It's named a deep learning part system to lie detection while online study. No need for you to wait anymore. I'm Nhat Nhi. Let's dive into what we got. The current pandemic situation that forced us to change from face-to-face -face learning to online learning, apart from the decreased efficiency of lectures without face-to-face -face contact, the quality of education has to face more problems of academic disintegrate due to the difficulty of monitoring students' behavior from a long distance. One of the emerging problems is lying. But what will become a liar? because liar has come to be recognized as an instinctive human trait because of its usefulness for highly intelligent, highly social species, such as human. Most lies are self-centered, mainly used to gain personal benefits or avoid punishment. Although the deception is essentially not encouraged and actively practiced, or even in some case, severely punished. In this predicament, with our awareness of potency of AI, we are now proposing a non-invasive lie detecting tool for educators with the aim of aiding resolvement of suspicion of dishonesty in class, providing a fair learning environment to all students, as well as training student discipline by detecting liars from online class learning platforms in real time. Our lie detection system performs two tests as shown in the figure, in the first one, we improved the backbone model, and in the final, we used transfer learning for classification tasks. In an effort to detect dishonesty during online course, we assembled records from digital devices like laptops and softwares such as Google Meet or Zoom Meeting that serve for the online conference. The volunteers were disposed of in a familiar card game, I dub it. There'd be four players joining in the Zoom meeting by computer, and then the others sat behind them and marked the card laid down by the players as true or lie. The sequence of the statements in the transcript would then be matched to the recording of the game to mark the video clips of the players as being truthful or deceitful. The crucial step allows us to classify and label the data preparing for the training. The training set is augmented using conventional image transformation, where it is randomly shared, sifted, flipped, and zoomed during actual online class, as there are possibilities of various angles, brightness level, or blurs due to dreadful cameras. Finally, we got a total of 10,064 images, include 5,429 lie and 4,635 true statements, which were then split for training and testing. The training task was done in the Google Cloud environment with the Python and the PyTorch library with the usage of NVIDIA Tesla P100 PCIe 3.0. For comparing the performance of our method, we also conduct deep learning in the Prochain MobileNet V2 model on ImageNet dataset. As the overall comparison of the best performers are present in the table, the origin model for lie detection yields reasonably modest results with an accuracy of approximately 57.89%. On the other hand, the self-supervised learning-based model produced more accurate estimates, achieving the best accuracy so far in this dataset of 59.15%. Given the current results, we can agree that the general lie detection task is quite challenging, even in comparison to the real human ability. Our experiments show that the multimodal system can identify liars with an accuracy above 59%, which is significantly above the chance level. However, some observations that are made based on this data should not be interpreted as scientific conclusion, but point to future work. The motivation behind this research stems from the need for accuracy to classify the right suspects as liar without misclassifying genuine people. Now that brings us to the end of our presentation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, but feel free to ask us. We are happy to discuss further with you about our project. Thank you for your attention.